For instance, if you wanted to go to a chemist and say, look, I want to have a chemical, say a pesticide, which will persist throughout the food chain, and I don't want it to have to renew it uh, very, very often. I'd like it to be relatively non-destructible. And then he'd put two benzene molecules on the blackboard and a chlorine that, and th that was DDT. In our occupation, they called on native doctors to administer DDT under the supervision of... Dusting like this goes a long way in checking disease, <laughs> and the labs are them. Pardon our dust. As the petrochemical era grew and grew, warning signs emerged that some of these chemicals could pose hazards. The data initially were trivial, anecdotal, but gradually a body of data that the synthetic chemicals which have permeated our workplace, our consumer products, our air, our water, produce cancer, and also birth defects and some other toxic effects.